Hope you enjoyed this video. And um, I'm just learning. I'm learning, and the only way to learn is to do. So start small, small. You can watch lots of YouTube videos on this, and you can learn. And this is the first time I've done this, so you know, obviously these connectors aren't that good. Um, kind of loose on there. Um, hooking up these connectors for the first time, and so on. Um, can I charge two batteries that are the same in series? Can I hook up two 12 volt batteries that are different? And will they charge? These are questions I don't know the answers to. And the only way to learn is to ask questions. And, and I wouldn't have these questions unless I tried. So hope you enjoyed the show. And if you like it, please consider supporting the videos that I make, the educational videos. And ultimately, there's a vision here. Your support is helping to set up found-up houses. Found-up houses are sustainable living homes that anyone can launch. So if you're interested in launching a found-up house, all you have to do is join our crowdfunding campaign. This buys you the license to use found-ups, to promote found-ups, to, to basically use the IP that um, and the brand, the found-up brand, um, to promote products and other things. We ask this is that you will reinvest any net profits into launching, supporting other found-ups, and that you, if you do establish a corporation, your corporation will not participate in political campaigns or lobbying, um, and help others by educating them with helping the planet together. My name is Mike Trout, the creator of found-ups here in Japan, playing for the first time with solar. Thanks for watching. I'm here in uh, sunny Japan playing with solar. Here's a view from my balcony and you've probably seen videos. I'm using the Osmo here uh, to spin it around. As you can see here, what I'm doing is setting up a little you, you can see that basically what's happening here, the solar panel is charging and it's charging this battery and putting in power 12 the battery's at 12 volts right now 12.1 is going up now over here right here is if I can right here on this side here this is basically a non-sign um, 12 volt capacitor or what is it called um, call them. Change it from DC to AC. It's a Japanese one. And ultimately if I swivel more to the left here. Come on. So you can see here I have a little setup and I am testing the solar panel. I'm using the Osmo here. <laughs> I just set up on my balcony. Actually on top of the beehive. Uh, it's pretty safe, but uh, hopefully it's not going to fall off because it falls off. There goes my Osmo. I'm daring that way. But um, looking down at what we have here, this is what's the what's reading the voltmeter. Basically, the solar panel that's right down here. You can see the solar panel there is charging this battery up small little 12 volt 4 amp hours for 10 hours little battery and it was dead and I'm actually trying to bring it back alive by charging it and uncharging it charging it up and, and, and running it down I'm using this little um, what is called <laughs> I freaking having memory Anyway, this changed it from DC to AC. And I've got this little lamp plugged in. Input. Twenty-four volts DC. And uh, 0.5 amps, little LED light there. That ultimately, if I 
turn this on. It's going to be a little noisy here. If I turn this on here, you can see it puts on a load onto the battery. Um, what I'm doing here is actually wanting to test. And I've never played with one of these before. And this is basically an M N PPT, and it's for wind. All right? I don't know if you can see this up here. Let's put it a little closer. As wind, and also now what I'm doing is I'm going to attach these cables so I can just plug things into it. And I was lucky enough that I was sent some extra cable, and I'm using these things here because they can just kind of plug in and not. Um, so this is what I'm going to plug in. Now this is going to be um, for the solar, so I got to make sure that ultimately I make this is going to be the red wire, right? Down here. Let's uh, kind of swivel down here just to show you what I'm talking about. You know. So I've got this is a uh, red. So red is positive. So I have to make sure that the positive, that this one here is going to go into the positive over here. Okay. So it's going to be opposite. So this actually is going to plug into um, the alternate. So I know this is actually the red wire, and that's going to be the positive one over here. So you're going to plug that in. Oh, my camera work is just so bad here. Right. Ramp out of the way. So I got to make sure that I do the same thing with the batteries. I'm going to attach these ends here, and I got a bunch of these ends. So here's this is positive, this is negative, and I have to do the same here. But this was actually on the end like this here, right? And I just cut them off, and I'm going to use these basically for the solar panel and these for the battery and then have everything be able to connect right to it using these little connectors. I really like these little MC4 connectors. Um, and I might as well do it this way because that will ultimately um, it saves me having to wire it again. So let's go do that. So attaching the negative is going to be opposite. This is a positive. So you're actually going to put a negative onto it because the lead is going to plug into a, a positive. So this has to be a female. So the first thing I'm going to do is put on a little tab here and just clip on one side, put the wire, repeat the wire there, clip it on. And then you got to make sure it clips in there. Push it nicely firmly in there. So there is the female. screw it on there really simple because the lead coming off the battery is going to be positive it's got to be opposite so that's in there so that positive is done it's the same here this is a positive wire it has a negative end because the positive is going to fit into it right so the connecting wires are always going to be opposite now this actually came with a connector which went into the uh, solar panel and I could remove it but I may want to put it back into the solar panel or have that option to do so so I'm going to just put this back in there now the problem is if I move this back and forth it's going to break eventually so that is the risk I'm running into. So that's connected. So obviously these two are matching here, right? These are positive, positive. And now I got the negative. Pull this out here. And obviously this connector I'm keeping on here because I may want to use it again. And repeating the same process. Of just basically 
rolling, rolling, rolling the wire. All right, roll it back. Grab the wire. Get some pliers. Okay. And then just twist it back and forth to break that wire. And then twist one way. I do it to the right. Pulling and twisting. All well, that's doing is grouping up the wires. So you don't need a special wire cutter. And there it is. Now that's done. This is then going into this is a positive. So it's going a negative, so it's opposite. So what I'm doing here is I make this rotate a little bit more. Yeah. Open this up. This is the units. So that's gonna pierce the wire so that it goes on first. And then ultimately, I need a fat one. Okay. And what you can do, what I recommend is just bend out one of these things a little bit. Then you may need a plier to help do that. The reason for that is that way you can get this wire. Oh, I just lost it. Ish! Working on the top of my balcony here. Obviously, that goes in. It's going to create pressure, put the whole wire in there. And then, what I'm going to do is just pinch one of the tabs down first. And by bending it out, what I'm doing is ensuring that I can get a good grip around it. Hard to see, but I have this all gripped in there. And I just want to make sure that's gripped in there. Push it in. Then I can come around on the other side using a flat bit of the plier and put that tightly on there and that's on there really good and tight this okay. part here plugs into this part here and what I recommend instead of shoving it down there you can grab use the needle nose pliers and really get up in there good. And then that's in there. You got the key to getting this in is actually to push it into the socket first, right? So it's in there and then screw this on. And that's the trick on how to make the good fit. Yeah, see? is pushing it on and now it's you can see the fit is all the way around here so I can go back and fix a couple of these need fixing that's perfect clamped in there so now this is going to come off the positive terminal and this one is going to come off the negative ter terminal on there so let's fix these two here that don't quite have the right fit on them. So I have uh, the beehive here. A little chilly for them today. This is an Apis Serena. I'd like to set up a little cam for them. And I've been working up here. I'm actually on the roof here. The solar panel here. Playing around with batteries. And <laughs> give you a view of the house. And I found up 
and I'm probably going to end up putting solar panels on uh, that roof there. That's where these solar panels are going to go. And ultimately, over here, can't really see a little bit of it, is a fish pond. Uh, actually, I may put solar panels on this roof here. I haven't decided yet. This, the one down here though, this is only going to get sun in the morning. Um, by putting the solar panels on here, I can actually put them at an angle and get the most sun. So I'm probably going to put them on there, and there's my neighbor. 